Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. So um, I feel like, let me just get this message out. Um, going along with, you know, the previous message regarding, uh, regarding the way that you've been dealing with other people. You're incredibly, incredibly independent. And, um, you know, unless you really respect a person, you don't really ask other people for advice, okay? And so people that give you advice unsolicited, I just feel like you, you it, it rubs you the wrong way, okay? Because I feel some of you are just like offended. Like, do you not trust my intelligence? Is that why you're uh, telling me what I should do? And then most of the time when people give you advice, it's like, I already know this. Why are you telling me things that I already know, right? And uh, even if you were to consult me or another reader, and I feel like that's the same mentality, right? And so it takes a lot for somebody to really impress you. It takes a lot for somebody to really stand out in your eyes because it seems like you guys know a lot of things about a lot of things already so it's gonna take somebody pretty darn amazing and exceptional to really catch your interest so for this month I'm sensing that you know we we have to learn to be a little bit more relatable when it comes to relationships we have to learn I feel like the word here is compassion we have to learn that, you know, we don't have to stoop to meet somebody else at their level if it, if it requires us um, settling or if it requires us lowering the bar. But I do feel like you have to kind of put yourself in other people's shoes to understand where they, they're coming from, where they've been, and how that shapes the person that they are, right? And so... Try to quiet that voice in your mind that says, like, why are you telling me this? I already know this. Or making harsh judgments because I feel like you are quite hard on yourself. And when you're hard on yourself, I feel like you also apply the, the same standard of perfection to the people that you interact with and the people that you date and the people you have, like, um, you know, a pretty high bar set for the people that you're with and there's nothing wrong with that we definitely should have high standards but i also feel like the high standards is um is because you're also very hard on yourself and that's where the problem starts okay so be easier on yourself don't be don't judge yourself so harshly don't judge people too harshly and just learn to you know um be a little bit more easygoing go with the flow and let the relationship organically and naturally play itself out so that you can be a little bit more at ease so that you don't have to feel like you have to control everything or you have to know everything okay so that's the first message it's a little bit of a long-winded way um, of explaining it i'm also feeling as well that um we have good things coming into the picture for you guys um i feel like there's going to be the major focus for this month definitely is going to be work and career it's not so much love i feel like love is kind of like on the back burner it's not going to be prominent, but I feel like, you know, you're still dealing with these things. So let me just get one more card out here. Okay, so let's talk about the foundation here. The foundation is uh, something that we know to be true. And it's kind of like the, it's, it's like the foundation on which everything else rests. And first of all, we have here the emperor and we have as well the page of wands. The emperor is somebody who is in a position of power, who is, um, it doesn't look like that in this deck, but this is somebody with a lot of people that, that a lot of people respect. Okay. So you have somebody like this in your environment. And I usually think of it as like more of a masculine figure, but it can be, you know, male or female. Um, this is somebody that is, I feel in your work environment that you're really, really admiring, that you look up to. And there might be a little bit of flirtation or there might be a little bit of like um, 
a little bit of a chemistry between the two of you. And I know that you're smart enough to not mix business with pleasure. And this person is definitely smart enough not to cross the boundaries, not to cross the line. And you know, um, with all these um, recent developments with these uh, sexual assault allegations, I feel like that's what's really coloring this spread because I, I do feel there is a little bit of a power differential here. Um, you have somebody in your environment that you really like and I feel like under normal circumstances um, it could lead to more but you know but they're they're you're either working under them or they have control over your professional development so there's a little bit there, there's a lot of compatibility and there's flirtation but I feel like the flirtation is very very professional it's very minimum okay so there is this person here. Uh, it's really, it's a good self-esteem boost because I feel like you trust this person. They're very righteous. They are a pillar of strength and stability in your life. And you know that, you know, they're not going to do anything inappropriate. And so you enjoy the kind of like the energy sparks between the two of you. But it's not so overwhelming that you can't concentrate while you're at work. It's just there in the background. It's nice. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication between you and this person. Be smart about this, okay? Because professionally, things are going to go well, but you need to carry yourself well, handle yourself well, and be professionally appropriate, okay? So some of you are dealing with that. And um, which brings us to the present situation, because I feel like it's linked up. We have here the King of Swords as well as the Eight of Cups. So the King of Swords, this is, I feel, your energy. It's the first card out in the spread. And so it denotes that you're going to keep your wits about you. You're very smart, very strategic. You're not going to get involved with people that are, it's like setting that bar. You know, you're not going to get involved with people who are, who don't know what they're doing. If you have somebody who's kind of like wishy-washy like this, um, here, the Eight of Cups, they're like, I'm going to do this today. And then they kind of backtrack on their words. And then they're like, no, I'll leave it for the next day. I feel like that's very aggravating for you. And so you're not going to entertain those types of people. And then at the same time, I feel like, you know, professionally, you know, if this is my supervisor and I have, you know, a crush on my supervisor, I'm going to be smart and not get involved. I'm going to detach myself. So this is somebody who's very smart, they care about the the professional image. They care about, as well, um, the way that they carry themselves, the way that other people look up to them. So this is the month where you're coming into this space where you're very grounded, very practical about the things that you do. And I also feel, as well, you're very much in control of your emotions. And you know, that's been very rare in the past, but this is the month where you feel like, and I, I feel like you're definitely, you know, a lot more focused on self-improvement and not learning from the past and not making repeated mistakes from the past, okay? So I feel some of you who are single, your energy is like this, where it's gonna take a little bit more to unsettle you. It's gonna take a lot more from a ro romantic partner or a prospect to really knock you off your feet. So you're gonna be very grounded and stable for this month. Some of you are dealing with this. This is um, kind of like a relationship that you've invested a lot of time in. And you're just like, I'm not ready to move on from it because I've invested so much time. I want it to pan out the way that I envision and I'm not ready to let go of the other person. And so we have a going back to the past type of a situation. Um, I have here the King of Cups. This is a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And this person is very, very loving. And uh, the word I'm getting from this card is affectionate. They're very affectionate. They're very warm when you talk to them you feel like they're kind of, um, you're the only person that they're looking at. You know, they, they have a, a way, a very good way of like, when you're talking to them, all eyes are on you. So you feel like you're the only person in their eyes. You feel like you're the only person in their world. And this is somebody that you can come to and kind of, you know, divulge your deepest, darkest secrets. 
and they don't judge you you know so it's it's someone who is very very good um what's linked up here as well with this king of cups this water sign so that's pisces cancer scorpio sun moon or rising is the three of cups in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse is usually a situation where we're not exclusively dating each other where the relationship might have been you know open for interpretation or it might have been just an open relationship and there were other issues other people getting in the way of the relationship itself so i feel some of you um, are still with with a water sign others of you are possibly you know moving back taking trips I'm also feeling as well some this is usually somebody with children so there's like you know children pets something interfering in your relationship possibly even family members as well okay so that's also getting in the way and I feel like it's a good person they're faithful they're devoted so the three of cups is not indicating to me infidelity or cheating or stepping outside the relationship it's just there's an element here about the two of you needing to um, put in a lot of effort to get the relationship moving okay uh, crowning this reading is something that you are thinking about and we have here the devil in the reverse this is breaking away from old habits bad people and toxic relationships so this is really really good and um I feel for some of you, if you are in a relationship where one person is doing all the work, this is the month where you're just like, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to tell them what I feel and see how much they care about me by, you know, their actions. Are they going to do anything to fix the imbalances in the relationship? Otherwise, I'm going to walk. So I feel some of you are kind of putting your foot down. And I also feel as well, you know, your, um, you and your partner might be involved in, you know, um, getting rid of bad habits, quitting unhealthy habits like drinking, overeating, oversleeping sometimes, binging, uh, getting yourself into better shape. Um, and once again, smoking with this card. So I do feel there is a concerted effort between two people to try to you know make yourselves better so that you can be better for the other person and this is not just you know um i, I feel like it's gonna stick mainly because you're doing it for yourself you're doing it for yourself because you care about these things so i definitely feel some major major um turning points here when it comes to self-improvement overall you know making yourself better because you want to be a better you want to be good to yourself and uh, for those of you who are single, I feel like you have come out of a relationship recently. There might have been separation and divorce. It might still be pending, but you're physically out of the relationship and you're no longer living in the same area with that person. And as a result, for those of you who are single in particular, we have here the Wheel of Fortune. This is one of the best cards this is things kind of turning around like um not for the work this is like things turning for the better excuse me and this usually indicates to me like you know you can see it's juggling options having multiple options having multiple people having multiple suitors a lot of people will be in the picture for you and you get to pick and choose about who you want to be with so i have here a very strong fire sign fire sign and in particular Aries I have as well an air sign Aquarius Gemini and Libra and in particular a Libra person and I have an, a water sign from the past so I feel like things are going to be culminating and um, people are going to even some exes as well they might reach out and they might you know want to see how you're doing they might want to check on you they might want to see if you're single so all the people are in the upright position so I do feel what this means is in the process of doing a lot of self-improvement I honestly feel for some of you um, Aquarius you might have been like I thought the relationship you know was a lot of the times it's easy to assign fault to a specific person but I feel like the process of self-improvement that you're doing uh, on yourself 
it's really giving you a lot of clarity about the relationship partners you've had in the past, who was good for you, who was not. And I feel like you're learning to forgive and you're learning to look at things realistically. Somebody that you thought was really bad for you, I feel like you're looking at things objectively and you're just like, wow, that person was actually was a really good person. They had a good heart. They really cared about me. And then other people that you really admire, you know, you realize that they might have been good from afar, but when it comes to following through, they might have been a little bit flaky. So I feel like that's what's happening here. You're looking at things through a more of an adult lens and you're figuring out what went wrong, what really worked and what didn't. And you're taking these knowledge, these lessons to bring into the future with you. And so what I have as well is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is like overcoming fears, overcoming, you know, emotional heartaches, breaking yourself free from these negative self-talk and also from relationships that created a lot of strife in your life. Okay, so things are really clearing up. And I also feel as well, you have options coming in for those who are single. And you fear this, you know, finding somebody where there is a very strong sexual connection, but the emotional connection is not there. And uh, with the lovers in the reverse position, I feel like some of you are with somebody who's very compatible with you but i feel like the emotional connection needs a little bit of work you know this is somebody who can be a little bit cold they're a little bit more like action oriented they're not very emotional and receptive and if you're dealing with somebody like that or if you're dealing with another air sign here aquarius gemini and libra um you like the person you're attracted to them but it feels like emotionally things need to be worked out a little bit more, okay? So, still very good. Um, you have options available. Just make sure you're not juggling options, juggling, you know, your options. Um, be honest with the people that you're dealing with, though, okay? Make sure that, you know, you don't... Um, I feel like you're going to be very straightforward and honest with them because this is what came out. So I hope that you operate on the right side of this, okay? So I wish you the best, Aquarius. Um, Best of luck with everything. I'll be back for your mid-month reading in a few days, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.